All right. Well, welcome. Today, we're going to do an in-depth walkthrough of the AgriSpray Drone Operations Center, this new logbook software that is going to help you reach full compliance and help you with better record keeping. So looking at the main uh, dashboard here, this is going to be the home base of everything that gets recorded. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is make sure that your uh, profile is built out correctly. You're going to build your company. And within that company, you're going to be able to add different pilots, different certifications, track testing, and of course, manage records. So looking at the, at the software here, um, we're going to look uh, at company settings um, through our company settings. Uh, we can make sure that we, we have our name, uh, who the owner is, the chief supervisor, each member, and we can invite new members. So uh, if we have a pilot that works for us, we can add that member into there, and all of those invitations will be shown in there. Uh, going into the to the meat of this, uh, the maintenance, uh, if we go into this tab, this is where we're going to start building out our aircraft. So in here, I've input uh, the T-40 that I've got here. Uh, and so in that, I will have all of my maintenance records as well as an accurate report uh, to put on uh, the FAA and state reporting. We're going to log each of our batteries in here so we can track cycles, uh, cleaning, and different maintenance pieces as well, and any other uh, miscellaneous pieces of equipment you might have. And once we have that piece, we can go ahead and start building out uh, our certifications. So this is going to be the home base of all of your uh, current certifications. So uh, we can create new certifications. And in that, we're going to have all kinds of options uh, that we can add to uh, our list there. But right here is going to be the core of those certifications, including that Part 137 certificate number, that Part 107 remote pilot certificate number, the medical, and of course, the 44807, that exemption. So something really uh, convenient about that is the expiration is here, and it's going to remind us when we need to renew. Once we have our certifications in there, we can start building out customers. I've put a test customer in here, um, and so uh, you're going to be able to put all the customizable information about who that customer is. Once we have that customer built and our drone built and our certifications in, it's time to start an aerial record. So going to the aerial records, if we go here, uh, I've created one. Uh, I'll show you another one. We have access to our pre-flight checklist here. So you do need to acknowledge you completed the checklist. We're going to be able to select who the pilot is. That's going to import that information. Select the drone. If you had multiple drones, this is where you would import those. The flight information, so the date, the start time, the end time, who the visual observer was, if there was. If your current exemption provides that you do not need a visual observer, then you could just put none in there. That NOTAM, making sure that we keep track of uh, NOTAM filing goes there. And, of course, the application type. We're going to be able to select a customer from our catalog of customers here. And if the lane is leased or not, we could uh, check this as well. If we do go that route, we can put the actual uh, landowner's information in there. The flight details, so we're going to go field name, total acreage treated, uh, what was treated, the target pests, the nozzle, pieces, the travel speed, and of course, drift management practices. Some other things, uh, the, the weather information, if we hit get location, automatically going to incorporate our longitude, latitude. And of course, we can hit la uh, weather as well, and it's going to do those as well. Once we save that, it's going to generate a nice little report here, but we don't have to submit that yet. Um, we're we're going to make sure that we have each of these pieces accounted for. The FAA information, in addition um, we can log in incidents and accidents, upload KML files, and then we can directly report. What we can also do is looking at the state side. So um, the chemical usage there, uh, I can import all of my chemicals. And if you aren't sure what you're using, we have over here the chemical book. We can create customer uh, or custom chemicals and foliars as well as a chemical templates. So this is directly uh, correlated to the EPA database. And so uh, we can easily access uh, over 60,000 of them and we can even pull up the label information. Once, once we have that in there, uh, we are able to make sure that all of our state uh, pieces are covered with the chemical, the amount used and the total chemical usage. So once we have all of those ready, uh, we're ready to exercise the best part of this, which is the reporting. So state reports and FAA reports, which are required by each of those licenses. For the FAA reports, if we go in here, we see uh, we can generate a report. Now, 
per your exemption, you are required to report monthly. And so uh, we can customize that date range, but for the month of May, we're going to generate that report. Um, once we have that report ready, we can go ahead and open that up and it's going to show us um, that PDF copy. So for your, uh, for your document management, you'll be able to have that. Um, but if you just want to report straight to the FAA, we hit actions and submit to the FAA. So I'm not going to do that right now, just so we don't uh, overload. Um, but you can directly submit right there. Something to note, even if you do not fly, you're still required to report. For the state reports, uh, same type of feature. Um, this we're going to generate a, a little bit more uh, start date, end date, and, and customer. The report type, if we need aerial records or ground records, we can go in there. Let's create that report and through there as well. It's going to generate a PDF to which we can pull up and find that re report as well for our state chemical license. Going back in through here, if you want to incorporate ground records up here as well, we can create ground records. Um, and But you do have to have, as you can see here, a valid state applicator license. So you need that for drones as well, but the software is not going to let you incorporate that until you have that license uploaded. So with each one of those pieces, you're able uh, to remain compliant uh, a little bit easier and best manage your practices and operations. And finally, of course, the subscription. So uh, if you are uh, ready to pay, uh, ready to upload and ready to start, uh, you'll go in here, manage your subscription. I have a subscription here and it tells me it'll expire in one year. So uh, it, you're able to create your account and do everything, uh, get everything ready before you start the subscription. So my recommendation is to get that account created, um, but start your subscription uh, as soon as you are ready to go, as soon as you have a drone um, for that monthly reporting feature, and you'll be on your way. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, here at Agrispray Drones, we're happy to help. Reach out to us. Uh, happy spring and be safe. Thank you.